everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. You can see today I have a very special guest with me. This is Megan from Curry's Girls Hello. Kitchen. And we met in Italy last October. You guys probably remember me sharing that video of the whole grain waffles, which we made in Italy. That is the trip that we met on. And she is visiting New York, so we knew that we had to get together and film a video for you guys. And do you want to share what we're making? Yes, we are making our spinach patties that are binded with quinoa of mm, course. course right <laughs> and it is a really delicious vegan plant-based like really nutritious food that i mean we do this on our cleansing with food program that we do each season and i just look forward to these because even if you don't like it's just like a good weekday staple yeah they look so good so they have mushrooms spinach quinoa nutritional yeast they're gonna be like meaty, also a little cheesy, but they're still yes. gluten-free and plant-based. Yeah. So we are gonna walk you through the whole recipe. I will link it over on, it's on their blog, so I'll link yes. that down for you below. And we're actually also going to be shooting a video for their channel, so I will also link that all down for you below. I'll give you their channel, the video that we're making. We're making a dessert on their channel. So yes. everything will be linked down for you, and I think we should just go ahead and get started cooking. Yes, let's do it. Okay. We're going to start by putting a little olive oil in the bottom of the pan. And we're cooking down the leeks, the mushrooms, garlic. We're going to season it with a little salt and pepper. And then so we don't have to use so much oil because the mushrooms absorb a lot of it, we are just going to cover and let it steam. After a couple minutes, I like checking. Oh, you can see these are getting nice and soft. We're going to cover them for just a few more minutes until they get a little browned. This is looking perfect, nice and caramelized. You don't have to worry about all this stuff sticking at the bottom of the pan because we're just going to put the spinach on and the liquid from the spinach is actually going to remove all of this yummy flavor. And in the same pan, we're just going to put this spinach and cover it until it's melted. vibrant and green. Okay, we're gonna turn this off and put this into a colander and strain it to remove any excess liquid from this. And it's okay if you lose some of the spinach. And the point of this is to get out as much water that's naturally in the spinach so that it doesn't, you can have nice firm patties. After a few minutes, we're just gonna take the spinach and put it in the bowl with the mushrooms, leeks, and garlic. Now we're ready to add the rest of the ingredients. So we've sauteed everything, and you can see we have everything laid out here. We have all of the sauteed ingredients, cooked ingredients here, and then all of our dry ingredients here. So what's the next step? We are going to mix them all together. So if you wanna put in the nutritional yeast, yep. And some, my trick with the seasonings, I love doing this, especially with dried herbs. I always want to rub it in between your hands, mm. so it just kind of releases some of the aromas. Yeah, it's a oh good my God, trick. Yeah, I can smell it. Yes, yeah, so we're going to do some quinoa. Quinoa. A cup of quinoa, and I have a little extra here just because once we mix it all together, if it's not binding as well as we'd want it to, we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit more. Okay. Um, and then we have three tablespoons of ground flax seeds, and we're going to add some water to this. Okay. As our flax egg. Flax egg. Okay. And we're gonna bind this together. So I'm just gonna make this mix this up. And you want it to get this nice, like gelatinousy looking yeah. consistency. <laughs> yeah. And that's how you can tell it's 
good. And we're just gonna mix this in here. And again, this is just binding everything together. And then for the flour, we have freshly ground up sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can toast them mm. before. That's really and so then good. Add them in. Yes. And basically, you just add them into your blender, yes. grind them up into a flour. Just make sure to not grind it too much because they can turn into butter. But exactly. It should just be like 30 seconds or so. And I'd say even if you don't have like a blender, you could use like a like your coffee grinder. Oh yeah, it works totally. Really well totally. too. Yeah. Could you use almond flour too if you didn't have? Totally awesome. could use almond flour. I mean, you could use any flour in here. Just the nuttiness mm -hmm. of the sunflower seeds and the pumpkins yeah. are so good. And it makes it nut free, which is awesome. Yes. Okay, and we're gonna do a little bit more pepper and another pinch of salt to bring out all the flavors. And then we're just gonna mix this up with a spatula. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, these are gonna be so good. I know. And one thing that if they don't stick really well at first, um, you can make these ahead of time and let them sit in the fridge mm. either overnight or for like 30 minutes. And that will ensure, like if you notice you make these and the, the patties are crumbling, it allows more time for the flax egg to really bind everything together. Yeah. I'm definitely these feeling are like they're, good. yeah, they're really sticky. Ah, Yum. Yay. Oh my God. Whoops. I'm getting stuff everywhere, but they smell <laughs> amazing. Yes. And like so healthy. Yes. And actually a great source of protein in here. Definitely. Yeah, we have quinoa, we have nuts, we have seeds, we have nutritional yeast. There's like spinach has protein. Oh yeah, this is totally a veggie burger consistency. Yes, it is looking perfect. Awesome. Yeah, God, I can't wait. So now what we're gonna do is form them into little patties. So I always like, I notice if you make the patties too big, they will fall apart easier. Yeah. Yeah. So like the size of your palm, this is pretty yeah. good. And just kind of like a little, like a little burger patty. Yes. Like that big. Okay. And then we're just going to saute those, right? Yeah. In like coconut oil or olive oil or whatever yes. you want. Yes. I say coconut oil because we want it on a little bit higher of a heat. Yeah. And the coconut oil is the best for that. Yeah. And plus it has really good flavor. <laughs> yeah. Generous spoonful of maybe two of coconut into this because this is like you're frying them, but not. They just, you don't want them to stick. And we're just gonna go ahead, move it all around, and start putting them in here. That little sizzle is what you want to hear. Get brown. So it only takes a couple minutes, like three to five. Been another like three or five minutes and these guys are done Ugh. taste test time i am so excited our kitchen is smelling so nice and these look amazing so we are both going to dig in yes i don't often taste on camera so you guys should be excited about this <laughs> yeah i love it get oh the gosh. real reaction and see don't these the flax egg actually has yeah, them hold really up does. really nicely wow and the nice crispy brown edges mm. Mm. oh my god <laughs> I love that you're getting the real reaction because Elizabeth hasn't tried these before. This is so good. Yay! Mm. You guys have to try this. Yes. Like I said, I will be linking it down for you below. Make sure to go over to Curly Girls Kitchen. Go over to their channel. You can watch the video that we are going to shoot. We are making a pumpkin spice blondie recipe. So you guys are going to love that. Yes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming and visiting Thank me. You. This was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure to do the same over at their channel. And see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye, guys. Yum. I know. These are so good. Really good.
Yeah, the nutritional yeast isn't. Mm. Yeah. I like it. Yum. Mm. Fresh milk food. So good. Mm 